Hi, I'm Debbie Peverell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from Painless Financial Training Group. Today I'm talking about the differences between fixed and variable costs. So people who make buying decisions are often grappling with, should they lock in a price or should they gamble? Accountants call this the difference between a fixed or a variable cost. So how about an example? Let's talk about golf since the season is just about here. Do you buy the season pass or not? If you buy the pass, do you figure out how many times you had to golf in order to get your money's worth? So let's make it simple. Let's say the pass is $1,000 and every time you golf, it's 100. Easy math. If you buy the pass and you golf more than 10 times, you're ahead. If you golf five times, however, that means you're effectively paying $200 for every time that you golf and that was not a good financial decision. Some people are quite happy to lock in the cost now. So there is certainty. You know how much golf will cost this summer. No choices. Others won't buy the pass and then they'll end up golfing maybe 18 times and then they'll lament the money they could have saved if they had bought the the pass. So how do you approach this decision about whether you use a fixed cost or a variable cost? If you have, in our golf example, some control over the number of times you golf, then you do the estimate. If you estimate that you're going to golf more than 10 times, then you buy the pass. This type of decision could be made with any buying decision. You make an estimate and you choose whether you go fixed or variable. Do the math and make the call.